Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about how to use the Enter key instead of the Tab key to move to the next record in Microsoft Access. Today I'm going to show you how to do it for the beginners, and then in tomorrow's video, actually Monday's video, since today's Friday, we're going to show you a developer method that's got some additional flexibility. Today's question comes from Ludwig in Dessel, Belgium, one of my Platinum members. Ludwig says, how can I navigate through the records in a form using the Enter key instead of the Tab key? Is there a video on this, possibly with some VBA code or an event procedure or something similar? My boss is acting strange again about how it goes faster with the Enter key instead of the Tab key. Yeah, I get it. If you got, especially with the continuous form, if you hit Enter, it just behaves like the tab key does normally, right? Just hit tab or enter, it does the same thing. It'd be nice if the enter key moved you down, kind of like an Excel, right? And you could, if you want it, also program it to work the same way with a single form. So you hit enter and it moves to the next record. But let's see how we can do this. First, a couple of prerequisites. First, of course, if you're a newbie to Access and you haven't watched my Access Beginner 1 class, go watch it. It's four hours long. It's absolutely free. It covers a lot of fundamentals that you really should know. For example, you should know what command buttons are and how to use the command button wizard to create them. In fact, this video specifically teaches you how to make command buttons to navigate back and forth through the records on a form, which is kind of what we're doing today. And this video shows you how to set a default button. A default button is the button that gets clicked when you press the enter key on your keyboard. Now you put these two videos together and you've got the answer for today's video. Let's start with the continuous form. So I'm gonna come into here, design view, and I'm gonna go up to form design and grab a command button and drop it right here. So the wizard starts up and I'm going to pick record navigation, go to next record, hit next, put some text on there. You can put next record on there is fine. And you can even put in here, enter to visually tell the user, hey, if you press the enter key, it's gonna to go to the next record. It's gonna push this button. All right, next, give it a good name, right? Next record button or something like that, and then hit finish. So now you've got a button that will go to the next record. Okay, save it, close it, open it back up again. And now if I click the button, you can see it moves to the next record, right? Even if I'm over here, hit the button, still moves to the next record. So you can still use tab. All right, now how do I assign this button as the button that's pressed when I push the enter key? Well, that's what that default property is for. So back here in design mode, open up the properties for this button by double clicking on it. Come over to the other tab here and look for default. All right, we're gonna change the default to yes. Default means when I press enter on the keyboard anywhere on this form, unless you're in a long text field, then it pushes that button, right? All right, so let's save it. Close it, open it, and now enter, 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 enter. See, tab, 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 enter, 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 enter. Nice, easy enough, right? Tell the boss that it's not so weird now, right? Now this will work on a single form or a continuous form. So we can copy that button. We can actually take this button and copy it, right? And then go over to a different form like the regular customer form. Right click design view and we can paste it right on here. All right, make this a little bit bigger and then paste and then bring it down here. Now, even though the button macro carries with it, because inside this button, there's something called an embedded macro, and that will copy over with it, but you still gotta open up the properties and assign this guy to be the default button on this form, okay? So save that, close it, close it, close it. Let's open up the customer form. And now we can use tab to move through the fields, but enter will still move us now to the next record. See that, because it's pushing that button, that next record button. All right, now as far as going to the previous record, if your boss wants to go backwards, there's a couple things you could do at the beginner level. Uh, you can make another button to move to the previous record, or I mean, if he's too, too lazy to use these buttons down here, I guess, right? And then you could assign that to a keystroke, like Alt-P for previous, or you could even make it the cancel button and he can hit escape to go backwards, but that's kind of weird too. Um, I like the previous button myself. So let's do, um, let's do another command button. Drop it down here. Record navigation, go to previous record. Previous, I just put P-R-E-V in there, I'll make it small, like that. 
Next, and then previous record button, right? And then what we're gonna do to make this assigned to a keystroke, we're gonna come right in here, and we're gonna put an ampersand in front of that P. Okay, here, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. All right, see that little ampersand right in front of the P. Okay, and press enter. And now when you do that, you get a little underscore under the P. Now this just becomes a training issue now. Now just tell the boss, well, if you wanna go back a record, it's Alt P. That's just the easiest way to do it. All right, so save it, close it, open it, and now you can go enter, 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 or Alt P, Alt P, Alt P, Alt P. Uh, it's up to you. You can make escape button too. To make an escape button, you just go to the properties and under other, you set this cancel button to true. And then when the user presses escape, it pushes that button. I wouldn't recommend that for just moving backwards through records though. Now, in part two, when we get to the VBA version, I'm gonna teach you how to do this with events and you can actually assign the previous button something like shift enter. So it'd be enter to go forward and then shift enter or control enter or whatever you want to go back a record. We'll talk about that in part two. Now there is one caveat and I kind of mentioned it a minute ago when you're in here. If you happen to be inside of a long text field, the enter key gives you a new line in the field. See, just like that, right? Um, so your default button won't get pressed unless you tab out of there and then press enter. Oh, even that one, even that time I happened to be on a button because this was next in the tab order. If you're sitting on another button like the orders button and you press enter, that will take precedence too. So, what you can do in this particular case is you could say, okay, for my long text fields, instead of the enter key behavior being new line in a field, you can change this to default, okay? What that will do is it will make it so that if you're in here and you press enter, it's gonna fire that buttons event, okay? Because it'll no longer move to a new line. If you do want to go to a new line now, you have to hit control enter to go to a new line. Or you can open up the zoom box, shift F2, and now you can type in here. And this is, you know, just like a regular little word processor. Okay. So there's a lot, there's a lot of things you can do. There's ifs and thens and thats and buts and everything has an exception, right? <laughs> All kinds of things you can do. But if your, your, your weird boss's primary concern is just being able to move to the next record with enter, well, there you go. There's an easy, nice beginner fix for you with absolutely no programming. Now, if you do want to see how to do it with some programming, I'm going to be talking about that in part two. Let's see, today, this, this video goes public on Friday, August 9th, 2024. So on Monday, the 12th, we will talk about the VBA version, which is a little, little more work, but a little more powerful. But I do like to give the beginners uh, some videos too from time to time. So that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you Monday for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsor, Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. They're manufacturing experts specializing in Microsoft Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. Check them out at accessexperts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, 
access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90-minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.